Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Royal Family. In the last episode we focused on the Royal Family of Willow Creek and the three triplets we had kind of a little royal matchmaking session I guess with them. We had Prince Louis talk to his possible future wife. So right now his family really wants him to marry Lady Corinne of Brindleton Bay. They think she would be a pretty great queen. They haven't become girlfriend and boyfriend yet but their romantic relationship has started to grow a lot. And then we also had their second oldest, Prince Jack. He was kind of having a fling with Lady Katarina of Willow Creek. So a little small romantic interest started there. And then we also have Princess Belle, the youngest. She was very interested in Prince Francisco of Oasis Spring. So she's always had a really big crush on Prince Francisco. So they've kind of got a little bit of a romantic interest going on too. They haven't become boyfriend and girlfriend yet, but definitely something is happening there. So I'm looking forward to see what happens with that. And then we also had King Adrian of Oasis Springs. He's kind of started to gather some mistresses. So he had another one in the last episode, Lady Jill of Oasis Springs, and they had a risky woohoo. So she might be pregnant. We're not sure yet. So we're going to find that out in this episode. So in this episode, I am going to find out about that. We're going to focus a little bit on the royal family of Brindleton Bay, specifically Prince James, the second son of the Brindleton Bay royal family. And then we are also going to find out if Lady Jill is pregnant. So if you're excited for this episode, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. I will say in my last video, the second episode of the Dynasty series, I did mention that I was planning on doing a 500 subscriber Q&A and I did hit 500 subscribers like a very shortly after I posted that video. So thank you guys so, so much who have all subscribed to me and who have been there from the beginning and all the new subscribers as well. I appreciate it so much, but I did realize in the last video or in the Dynasty episode where I mentioned my Q&A, I didn't realize that you can't put the and, the and sign in a hashtag, so I'm switching the hashtag to Q and A, like actually spelling out Q and A, so I'm putting that right here so you guys can see. So if you have any questions, you can ask me on Twitter or you can ask me in the comments below. I would love to see them and I will definitely be posting that video sometime next week, so definitely look out for that. I will be taking questions until this coming Sunday, which is June 9th, 2019. Anyway, let's go ahead and play the royal family. Okay, so the first thing I am going to do is go to Lady Jill of Oasis Springs, of Oasis Springs. And so Lady, it's actually Lady Jillian. We're going to see if she's pregnant and that's gonna be really exciting because they did a risky woohoo. So I don't know if she's pregnant or not, but just in case, so she has actually developed a relationship. It's more like an arranged relationship between her and the Duke of Willow Creek. So she might possibly become the Duchess of Willow Creek. That is a big possibility, but they are engaged. She just wanted to make sure if she did become pregnant that she would kind of have a safety net. So we're gonna go ahead and, oh, wait. Wait, they did a risky woohoo, definitely in the last episode. Wait, can you not? Uh, can you not find out? Can you not take a pregnancy test? She might not be pregnant. Oh, or like, are we just gonna find out like when she starts developing a baby or I don't know, like a, like a baby bump or something? I don't see one. I do, no, I don't see one. And I can't take a pregnancy test. I mean, this is him. So this right here is Sir Harrison of Willow Creek. So he is the future Duke of Willow Creek, guys. So I don't, I don't know. This is her, this is her fiance at the moment. As you can see, they don't have that much of a friendly relationship. They do have a big romantic relationship. So they haven't woohooed yet. I don't even think they've kissed yet, to be honest. This is a very much an arranged marriage. So she's feeling very flirty right now. We don't know if she's pregnant. Maybe I'll try a risky woohoo again. Maybe, maybe we can we ask Sir Harrison to leave? I think she's going to, yeah, I think she's gonna ask him to leave. They are gonna have to get married pretty soon. Maybe they should just like, maybe they should just get married now. <gasps> Ooh, should we do that? Maybe, well, no, I'll do, I'll do that later on. I think right now she's gonna stick with the engagement. When she finds out she's pregnant, she might feel a little bit more rushed to ask him to marry her like right away. So I, I'm i trying to find the ask to leave uh, interaction and I don't see it on here. I thought I thought that was something you could do. I think I could just use the MC command center though. I want to just make him leave. I'm pretty sure I can do that somewhere. May oh yeah, make him leave. It looks like he's leaving. I think he left. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he just left. Okay, cool. Okay, so she's going to ask King Adrian to invite to hang out on current lot. So she's gonna ask him to come back over. 
And then I think she's gonna try to woohoo with him. Oh, and I did see that one of my viewers suggested there apparently is a mod to make names longer. I haven't downloaded it yet. I tried to look for it, but I couldn't find it yet. So hopefully I can find that pretty soon because I would that would be like a huge game changer for us guys. We could make names so much longer. That would be so great. So hopefully I can find that soon. Um, but I will try to have that downloaded probably not by the next episode because I'm planning on filming both episodes of the Royal Family all today. Oh, and there is King Adrian. Um, so I will probably do that in a few episodes. But yeah, I just need to look for it and find it. Um, okay, so they are going to well, we don't want to do this in front of her mother. I, I don't even know if her mother knows who this is because like he's wearing a disguise. So I feel like she would like kind of know, but maybe not really. I thought that, wait, why can't I do a risky woohoo? I don't know where, where did King Adrian go? Oh, okay, I found him. So we're going to do a risky woohoo in bed. And then I guess we could see if she's pregnant again. Okay, so they're going to try to risky woohoo. I guess if I'm trying to get her pregnant this bad, I might as well just do a try for baby. I don't know. I just kind of think this is interesting to do it this way. So I, I don't know. I, I don't know if you're supposed to be able to see when like if she could take a pregnancy test like right after they do the risky woohoo like if you did the try for baby i'm assuming she's not pregnant if we can't take a pregnancy test but it's just interesting to see that so anyway yeah so she's continuing her romantic relationship with king adrian king adrian has not gotten caught by queen Lindsay yet but there are definitely suspicions so that will be interesting to see if she finds out when she finds out i feel like rumors are kind of starting to go around because this is his third mistress so i'm sure i'm sure there are rumors going around at this point okay so they are done can we take a pregnancy test you can take a pregnancy test i guess you gotta take it like right after they do the woohoo so but i didn't i didn't even, i guess i didn't even try the last time <gasps> guys she is pregnant she's eating for two. Oh my gosh okay okay all right so she's pregnant i think she's gonna try to rush this relationship then with uh let's see where'd he go with sir harrison i don't know if king adrian would be jealous or not but i guess we'll find out that'll be that'll be interesting but she would be the duchess of willow creek and then uh, although she's supposed to take the title of marchioness but guys i i mean she has a younger sibling and i just feel like everyone that's her age to be married are all the old actually is he oh she probably could have married sir daniel oh no he's a teenager never mind um but i feel like everyone that's her age to get married is like they're either an only child or they're not quite old enough yet and she needs to get married fast and sir harrison here has been like he's been single and a young adult for quite a long time actually so oh Wait, oh no, okay, I thought he was already adult, and I was like, oh my gosh, that was fast. Um, but no, so he's still a young adult, but he's been a young adult for a pretty long time. So he's actually been like in the market for a while, and I feel like he's gotten a lot of, um, what's it called? He's gotten a lot of su suitors, I, su I guess that's what they're called too, suitors for women? I don't know. So he is kind of taking a liking to Sir, or Sir, he's kind of taking a liking to Lady Jillian. So I think that he's just like really excited to marry her. I feel like he doesn't know about King Adrian, but I don't know, maybe he'll find out. Also, he should probably be the Duke already because his father was the Duke and his mother was not supposed to be the Duchess. So like, I know if like they're the ones who inherit it, and they get married, and if the and one who inherited dies, then the person they married technically isn't supposed to take their name. So technically he should be the Duke. So I should probably change that. But I will probably have them get married. I'll probably do that by the next episode. I'll kind of like do that off screen while not recording. But yeah, cause it's gonna be a very low key wedding. I feel like it's an arranged marriage. So I don't know, I, it's not important. I really don't think so. Anyway, I'm sorry. That was like a super long rant. Okay, so Lady Jillian is pregnant. So we're, go oh my gosh, this fruit fly guys, this, I was filming the Dynasty series and this fruit fly was still flying in my face. And I swear it's been the same one for like days and I cannot figure out how to make them go away. Oh my gosh, it's so irritating. So yeah, anytime I'm swatting my face, that is why. But okay, so we wanna go ahead to the Brindleton Bay royal family. Okay, so here we are at the palace of Brindleton Bay. And oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot how much I love this palace. It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. The person who did this did such a good job. Like, this is insane. It, it's beautiful, you guys. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm so obsessed. It looks like an actual castle. Like, this is like a castle. The other ones are like, to me, just like palaces. I don't know. I feel like there's a difference. But this is so, so pretty. And you can see like all the seagulls flying around it too. And it's, oh, 
So amazing. Oh no, their dog, Cinnamon, is blue. That's not good. Okay, if we take Cinnamon to a vet clinic, do we have to go with her? Oh, she's like loving on Prince. Oh no, she's like loving on Prince Jack too. That was super, super cute. Well, oh, I do have to follow them, I guess. All right, well, I guess we're going to the vet real quick. I will skip this and come back. Okay, you guys, Cinnamon is all better now. There's just, I don't know what it was, but we did a treatment for it and it worked. So she is all good. Okay, so Prince James, so right now, okay, do they need to do their homework or anything? Because it's kind of important. It is important. Okay, they have not done their homework yet. Where is your homework? I don't know where his homework is. Why is it not here? Is, uh, you know what? I'm gonna give Queen Nina's homework to Prince Jared so he can actually do his homework because it's important. He's the heir to the throne. He needs to have good grades and be really well educated. Okay, so for Prince Jack, so basically what I wanted to do is find an option of someone that he might be interested in or someone that he could marry. So I'm trying to think though because like, I think we're gonna have to like go and make him travel and find someone. So right now we've got, I mean, well, no, there's not too many, really not too many options to be honest. Like I feel like most people are kind of called for by the Royals. So I feel like Prince James, he's, I'm pretty sure he's the, he's the youngest, I think. Is he the youngest? No, I think Prince Michael and Princess Meghan are the youngest Royals. So he's not the youngest, but everyone else is pretty much called for already. So we do have a lady, Kaylin. She's a teenager. I think she's like a lot older than him though, but that is an op. Oh my gosh, I need to, I forgot that they need to age up too. Lady Aurora needs to age up. She because she was only a few days younger than Lady Ezra. But yeah, Princess Anna is, or Marquis Anna now. Um, but their children, they need to age up too. I love them. They're so cute. I can't wait to see them when they're older too. Um, okay, so there's no teenagers there. And then we can go to Oasis Springs to see if there's any teen. Oh, here is she. Yeah, Lady Tina's a teenager. She might be older than him too, but that is an option. And Lady Tina, she's supposed to be the Baroness because she's older, she's the oldest, so she's technically the heir to the title. So I feel like that would be a really good option for him. So I think we're gonna have him just go say hi. Um, I think we are going to bring the entire family except for the dog because I think it's important for them to see because I feel like us trying to find someone for him is like his parents trying to find someone for him because I think that he is at the age and they're realizing that now that like we should probably just, just introduce him to young women so he he like has his choices and has his options. I feel like they wouldn't want to force him to marry anyone because they went through that situation where uh, Queen Nina was not from a rich family or from a royal family. So they are kind of like pretty open to who he wants to marry, which would make sense if Prince Johan wanted to marry Princess May. Actually, yeah. But I feel like that is again, King Henry's choice. Like he's kind of the the person who has like really wanted to make that arranged marriage happen. So we'll, we'll just have to see how that works out. So they need to knock on their door. This is a pretty nice house. I don't think we've ever been here before. Oh my gosh, stop. I'll always love you. Okay, okay. Too many lessons to be learned. Okay, he is not close with Prince Johan, you guys. I did not realize that. They're friends, but they're not like super, super close. I also didn't know that Prince Johan was lazy. I knew that he was independent. I thought he was like self-absorbed kind of, but I don't, I don't know, that traits are not on there anymore. So it looks like Prince J, did I? I was saying Prince James before, right? Did I accidentally say Prince Jack before? I don't remember. I feel like I did. Um, okay, so we should at least introduce ourselves to everyone. So we have Sir Daniel here so we can do a friendly introduction. I feel like the whole family just, like it's so important that they meet the entire family. Um, so let's do a friendly introduction and then Queen Nina can also do a friendly introduction. And I think we also need to find the parents. Is anyone upstairs? Oh, Lady Tina is here. Lady Tina's upstairs. We probably shouldn't go upstairs right away because I feel like that's a little bit intrusive, um, but it looks like she's coming downstairs, so that's good. And then are there parents here? I don't see them. Oh, you guys, Princess Tina, or not Princess Tina, Lady Tina went straight to Prince Johan. I feel like Prince Johan might be the the better, like the more, the more wanted one by girls maybe. Um, so that was kind of interesting. That's probably not the best thing in the world, but yeah, Lady Tina definitely just went to Prince Johan to talk to him first. Do they like know each other already or something? No, I don't think they even knew each other that well, but that that was interesting. Okay, so Prince James is trying to make a good impression. So he does a, a heartfelt compliment. And then we definitely want King Jared and Queen Nina to introduce themselves to her too. So everyone can kind of get 
get familiar with each other. And we should probably find her parents because it is so important that they meet her parents. I don't see them anywhere. So they might be at work or something. Okay, so it looks like their dad is actually here. So Baron Walter, we need to have them introduce themselves to him. So yeah, since they're barons, they're really not like that's definitely not one of the highest nobles. But it's their second son again, so and like really Lady Tina. I'm surprised she's like really the only teenager. I feel like if we waited a little longer, the other noble girls probably could have been... Oh no, celebrity level lost! Queen Nina, well, we need to fix that. I guess it didn't freeze her fame. She's supposed to be a global superstar. So that's not good. Increase celebrity level, and I need to freeze that too because you're the queen. You're always gonna be famous. Do not worry about that. Okay, freeze fame. Okay. So they are all talking to their family now, discuss world peace. They want to see their take on world peace. Prince Johan needs to introduce himself too. So friendly introduction. And then same thing with Prince James. He definitely needs to introduce himself. Okay, so guys, this is like a pretty great conversation that's happening right now. Their entire family, the royal family of Brindleton Bay is all here talking to the Baron of Oasis Springs. So I feel like things seem to be going pretty well. So I think I'm gonna have him try to talk to Lady Tina a little bit more. So maybe try to flirt with her. I really, I don't know how old she is. Like, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Is she a little bit of an older teen? Like she might be closer to becoming a young adult than Prince James is, but I guess, well, I mean, we'll just have to see, honestly. Okay, so Prince James has come in to try to get to know Lady Tina. I feel like her and her brother were like trying to like show him something, I guess. I feel like he's really smitten by Lady Tina, but like also her brother's in the room and I don't know how he feels about that. Um, so I, I think he's just trying to like, play it cool. Like, I feel like her brother is probably really overprotective of her, um, but they are leaving and I think they are going to go somewhere private together, maybe? No, they went back down to a group conversation, but I feel like they would know to let them kind of like be a little bit. So maybe, I don't know, show off your outfit to Lady Tina. And then while they are talking to her father, give parenting tips. I mean, maybe. He, I feel like he's the king. He would probably do that. I don't know where their mother is though. I don't know. I feel like she should be here by now. It's 10 p.m. on a Sunday. So I have no idea where their mother is, but I guess we'll meet her at some point. We should probably invite just like the whole family over or something. But I think that Prince James is probably going to try to get away with Lady Tina. Maybe ask her, this always works, ask her to stargaze. Yep, there we go. So you guys can have a little bit of privacy. Okay, so they're going to go stargaze together. It looks like, oh guys. And then the family is all back here talking. I feel like Prince Johan was kind of dragged into this. Like, He's leaving. He's like, okay, I've had enough. Like, can I leave, please? Because, like, he really doesn't... He's not that close with his brother, so I feel like he wouldn't take the time to, like, try to do all this for his brother. I feel like he's here because he has to be here. So I think he's gonna go off and probably text Princess May. Maybe send her a happy text or something. Just because he's, like, super bored and he's probably complaining to her and being like, oh my gosh, I have to be here. This is so irritating. But, of course, Princess May is super sweet and she's like, come on, it's for your brother. Like, we all love your brother. I think it's fun. So right now it looks like Prince James is definitely, it looks like successful stargazing. Him and Lady Tina seem to be having like a pretty good relationship was go starting to go up. I think he's going to start flirting you guys. Although I don't know how Lady Tina feels about this. Like, I don't know. I mean, because she seemed to like go straight to Prince Johan, honestly, which is kind of sad because I feel like Prince James, like it's not his fault that his brother is so like, charming and attractive. I feel like he might start to feel a little bit overshadowed. Ooh, yeah, maybe he would start to feel a little bit overshadowed by his brother. And maybe that would start to like probably affect his personality a little bit too. So I don't know. I don't think it was that big of a deal when she went to go talk to Prince Johan first, but I feel like he might start to get used to this by now. So we'll kind of just have to see. Um, but they're still stargazing. And then Prince Johan is feeling very sad. Why? Time to wear black from having a mood swing. Oh gosh, guys, he really is selfish. He's having a mood swing right now. And I did you text Princess May? I think you did, but it's probably just like really late. Send her a sad text now. Tell her like you're really just 
feeling super down. And him and Princess May are so close, you guys. Him and Princess Amira, they have a really high friendship and they're kind of like lovebirds too. I don't think he would risk texting both of them at the same time. I mean, they do live in the same castle, so they probably wouldn't do that. But I, I feel like for sure, like Princess May is his go-to for like venting about things. I don't know, did this not go well? I thought he was supposed to flirt with Lady Tina. She kind of looks, I don't know why, but she looked a little irritated for a second. Um, but he's feeling very inspired from the, the stargazing. She's feeling ambitious and their friendship is like, it's going up okay. Not too, too much, but they are friends at least. So let's try the flirting thing. Let's see how this goes and see if you can flirt. Although it looks like they're in a group conversation right now. We do not want to be in a group conversation. Queen Nina, you need to let your son be. I feel like Queen Nina might be a little bit overprotective, but we need to tell her, like, calm down. They're fine. They are fine. Like, they're just outside the house. And I feel like maybe her father and definitely her brother are overprotective too. But I think they're just going to let him be. I mean, honest, I mean, they're like, she might be the, like, marrying a prince. So that's super, super important to them too. I definitely think that parents are like a little bit selfish and definitely want, well, they just want the best for their kids, honestly, but they definitely want their kid to marry someone who is like super important, definitely a royal if they can. So that's definitely really nice. Okay, so Prince James, it looks like, no, she left. Lady Tina, she just got up and left you guys. And there are no, there are no romantic relationships happening right now. Oh, Prince Johan's still feeling very sad. You need to just leave it be. Why are they going to be in a group conversation? Oh no, he's gonna go talk to his brother. Oh, Lady Tina was like, maybe trying to go grab him or something? Oh no, but now her his brother is kind of like ruining things. Like he's in this conversation too. Who is this lady? Who are you? Paparazzi, you need to go away, lady. Like, this is not, this is not where you should be. We're going to ask Paparazzi to leave so we can let them have a little bit of privacy. And then Prince James, so he's trying to flirt with her and it looks like a little bit of a romantic relationship has happened, but now it's an awkward encounter because his brother's here and his brother won't leave and he's just like hanging out. So I feel like he's like, come on, like I know you're sad, I know you're having a mood swing, but like I'm trying to get with this girl. Also, there's another paparazzi here. This is not good. Okay, Queen Nina, ask him to leave. Ask paparazzi to leave. I realize we have like Queen Nina and this is Lady Tina that he's trying to get with. So that's really not helpful that their names are so similar, but hopefully I won't mix it up too much. So Prince James, okay, I don't know where Lady Tina went, but it's really late. It's 2 a.m. So it's probably time to go. Oh guys, they did, he didn't, he wasn't very successful. She's just a romantic interest. Like he just knows that he likes her now, but there was really nothing that kind of happened with them. Maybe, maybe, I don't know if Prince Johan would like notice that she was trying to flirt. I don't know, guys. Where is he? Prince Johan's going upstairs. Is, is Lady Tina? Oh, no. No. Prince, Yo Prince James was trying to go upstairs. He's trying to talk to her still. He really is. Oh, guys, there's Baroness Emma. What is she wearing? Is she wearing a fedora? Okay, no. Change into your everyday wear because I do not want you to be wearing a fedora when you're meeting the king and queen of Brindleton Bay. So we're just going to meet her real quick. I think the parents, it's definitely important that they do meet her. Ooh, an enchanting introduction. He probably shouldn't do that when his wife is here. Um, so friendly introduction and then a friendly introduction. And then I know Prince Johan, you're having a huge mood swing. You're in someone's bed right now, but you need to go introduce yourself to the Baroness. You just at least have to meet her. Like that's it. That is all you have to do. Okay, so Prince James, he, he went upstairs because like <laughs> Lady Tina is upstairs. So I think he just, he just really wanted to be with her. Oh, guys, it's really cute. I think he's got a huge crush on her. But like, does she like him too? I don't know. Prince Johan, you, I mean, like, there's really no relationship going on with Lady Tina and Prince Johan. Wait, Prince Johan, it says he hasn't even introduced himself to Lady Tina yet, but they have like a little bit of a, of a, ro not romantic relationship. They have a little bit of a relationship going on. And she was the first person he talked to when they all walked in. But okay, so they've all introduced themselves now to her mother. So at least they like know her a little bit. I'm gonna turn off this music because I do not know what this is. It just sounds like bagpipes or something. It looks like we've kind of introduced ourselves to everyone. I think it's just gonna try one more time, a little bit of a flirty. Yeah, let's exchange numbers. So definitely get her, get her contact info so he can text her. <laughs> oh guys. No, he's flirting with her in front of everyone. He's asking for her number in front of everyone. Dang, Prince James is kind of ballsy, you guys. He really is. But it looks like, oh, wait, how does she feel about getting his number too? She didn't seem to care as much as he did. So that'll be, that'll be interesting. But 
Looks like the romantic relationship is going up at least a little bit. Maybe just compliment her appearance, and then I think we should get everyone else to kind of start leaving. Oh, guys, but, but the romantic relationship has gone up, like, a good amount. Maybe he should ask, like, should you hang out with her just a little bit? Um, just ask her if she's single. Although her mother's right here, so I don't know how much you want to flirt in front of her. Definitely don't want to try to seduce her in front of her mother. Should he try to kiss her? All right, the mom needs to leave. Yeah, maybe maybe she could like walk him out and like they they can they can like do like a first kiss. Oh, so this is actually going better than I thought. I feel like her parents though are like you should probably go walk him out. Like they they definitely want her to be with him. So maybe just sit and chat here and then that way you guys are like closer to the door. Okay, so Prince James is saying goodbye. It's 6 a.m. guys. <laughs> He's supposed to be going to school. Prince James is going to try. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to ask a risky question, but I think we need to because I didn't see the first kiss option on there. So he's just going to try guys. I think this night actually has kind of turned out better than we thought it would. So they, they're, I mean, they're like pretty much best friends at this point. Um, and then just do like a bold pickup line because he's feeling super, super confident apparently. And then let's see if we can do a first kiss. Oh, she seems really into it, you guys. This actually is going better than I thought it would. Wait, come back, where's she going? No! Oh, she's, why is she sitting way over there when he's sitting over here? I just don't understand why Sims do that. Can we do a first kiss now? Although her father is like right here. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, guys. I don't even know if they're gonna be able to do a first kiss. Her father is right there. Do not kiss her in front of her father. That, I mean like, I think he's, well, no, I don't know. I think he is, oh, come on! You're ruining it! <laughs> The father needs to leave! Stop it! Oh my gosh, they need to go to school, you guys! School's gonna start in an hour, but they can do a kiss! Oh my gosh, is he gonna kiss her in front of her father? Oh, this is gonna be- this is- okay, we'll see if he gets turned down or not, because the fact that it's in front of her father might be super, super weird, and she might get uncomfortable, and she wasn't even that into it in the beginning. Oh, okay, well now he's going upstairs to kiss her. Oh! Oh! Okay, is this gonna go well? Is oh he's sick he's got bumps all over him you guys gross oh my gosh it worked though she kissed him at least but now he's got like bumps all over her and I feel like she's like ew 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 oh okay you need to go home you you're embarrassing yourself Prince James you need to go home oh my god okay so yeah so I think so like went well like better than I thought they were going to but you know what maybe something would happen between her and Prince Johan a little bit. Like, maybe that's who she actually likes, and she's just pretending to like Prince James to get closer to Prince Johan. I feel like Prince James is running in place right now. Is it just me, or is that what it looks like? That's exactly what it looked like. Um, okay, so they're off to school. So I think we're gonna go ahead and actually age up Lady Aurora, Princess Anna's daughter. And that's probably the last thing we're gonna do before this, we end this video, because it's definitely time for her to age up, and her sister aged up, like, so long ago, too. So we actually get to see what they're gonna look like. Okay, so we want to go to the Marquis of Windenburg. Um, and then I guess their house is the Van Helsium Tower. I think I definitely need to change this house because this definitely doesn't have enough rooms for all three girls. Uh, and I kept, meaning, I kept meaning to do that, but I forgot totally. Um, so I'll definitely try to do that by the next episode. Oh no, why is Lady Aurora just standing out here by herself? Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, the, the hard part about this place though is that it's such a small lot like there's not much land so it was kind of hard to find like such a nice big house for like such a small lot but i'll definitely go to the gallery probably like as soon as i'm done filming this episode um because i'm going to film the next episode in just a few minutes too so i think that you know what guys it's kind of sad because princess anna never really got to i mean she became a superstar but she never reached level 10 of her acting career so she never became like a super super superstar i think it's called like silver screen icon or something like that also yeah this house is just not right for them this definitely is not not right um but we're gonna go ahead and age up lady aurora i think we have to have a cake for her don't we Ooh, yeah we we kind of do um so i guess i'll try to find a birthday cake. Is that what we did for her sister? I think it is. Um, so, okay, so let me just try to make a cake real quick and then we'll go ahead and age her up. Okay, so Princess Anna has made a cake. 
And we're going to add the birthday candles. I like try to switch up the cake sometimes. Of course, like Princess Anna doesn't have a very high cooking level. So it was like vanilla, chocolate, the hamburger cake. And like, I'm pretty sure that was all the options we had. So I figured at least we would do something different. Cause I don't think I've done the chocolate cake in a while. Um, but we're going to go ahead and add birthday candles. I'd saying that Lady Aurora is not here when she definitely is here. And she's, oh no. Oh my gosh, you guys, Lady Sadira just pushed Lady Aurora. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. Well, you know what? Lady Aurora is about to be about to be bigger than Lady Sedira, so she's gonna probably end up bossing her around now. Um, okay, so we're going to have her help blow out the candles, Lady Aurora. But Lady or Princess Anna, I keep calling her Princess Anna. I know she's the Marquis now, but she's still Princess Anna to me. Okay, so now Lady Aurora is blowing out the candles. Oh, guys, she's so cute. She's adorable. I love her. I love that Princess Anna just like pushed her and put her down over the chair. Um, okay, so Lady Aurora aged up. She was and angelic so i guess that just means she's like super sweet she's the middle child i don't know does the middle child like usually try to get attention or no maybe the middle child's like usually pretty low-key um so i feel like maybe like a uh, mental level skill she wants to be like a whiz kid um so she's probably really smart i'm actually going to make her well i don't know okay so she was angelic so i feel like she would just be super sweet and good so maybe i'll just give her like the good trait I, I don't know, I feel like the good trait is kind of boring. I need to like get, uh, use uh, more custom content or mods, I guess, to add more traits. Cause I feel like more traits would be a lot more fun. So, uh, okay, do I wanna do a genius or do I wanna do good? Let's do genius for now. Let's, yeah, let's do genius for now. Okay, so she is a genius. She's got short hair, you guys. She's really, really cute. I love her. Okay, so that is a print, or I almost said Princess Aurora. <laughs> um, Lady Aurora, you guys. So yeah, okay. So I think that uh, Lady Sidira, no, 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 I can't talk. I feel like Lady Sidira, I'm pretty sure she was a, like a little bit younger than both of her sisters were. So she probably has a good amount of time before she ages up. Well, let's see. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, like 17 days till she was supposed to age up. Um, so she's got still a good amount of time. Her sisters are a little bit older than she is, but I'm excited to see what she's gonna look like when she ages up too. But I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed paying a little bit more attention to Prince James. We don't get to really see that often. Maybe we'll see a little bit of sibling rivalry between Prince Johan and Prince James. I think that would be really interesting. I feel like maybe Prince James, if he gets like angry enough or like enough hatred going on or resents his brother too much he might end up trying to overthrow him and try to take the crown so i feel like that would be really interesting if that were to happen but in the next episode i think we're going to focus a little bit more on the windenburg royal family and then maybe we will get to see if lady jillian who is king adrian's mistress maybe she'll have her baby but i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next episode bye